Um, the supplemental CIP, just as a matter of background, is um, this process really began in October when we released the larger document, the, the full CIP um, for this five-year time period. The supplemental CIP is a six-month um, spring edition of the CIP where we've made updates to projects, deleted and additions, and changes to priorities um, and, and schedules um, and funding sources. Also, just as a matter of background, projects um, included in the CIP have a wide range of funding sources, include, including city bonding, operating funds, free cash, um, the CPA funds, grants, state, federal, and MWRA funding, development mitigation, water, sewer, stormwater, as you heard earlier, schools, and other sources. This year, there uh, in the supplemental um, CIP are 215 total projects. And I think as you may have heard earlier or read from Commissioner, Public Buildings Commissioner Morse, we are really looking at an unprecedented um, amount of project work um, at the current time. Just a couple, two quick uh, photographic slides, um, right, lifted right out of Commissioner Morse's uh, master schedule update that uh, you all received recently via email. We, there were two projects, new, two major construction projects that were not delayed during the COVID financial emergency that we saw two years ago. And we had to put on hold many capital projects. One was the Newton Early Childhood um, Program project um, at the Old Horace Mann School in Watertown Street. This project is moving along very well. And here is a photo. Well, the first is a, an image of the future project. And then below is a, is a photograph of some of the uh, work that's happening. Commissioner Morris continues to update these photos um, on via social media. Very exciting project. Next is the library children's room expansion project, which um, is, is moving along extremely well. We're looking at completion um, in the spring this, or summer time period this year. Um, and again, Commissioner Morris has been updating with various pictures as, as recently as today. And this is moving along quite well. It's gonna be a, a, a giant improvement to our wonderful Newton Free Library. Um, in the supplemental CIP, um, there were five new projects um, and, and three deleted projects. The five projects um, were two boiler um, um, projects that you've already heard about. Um, the Newton North tennis court resurfacing project, um, that uh, very critical tennis court um, uh, area needs to be resurfaced. The Newton Center playground um, surf resurfacing project um, is also incredibly important. Um, and as we discussed earlier, a few, few weeks ago, a feasibility study for a new indoor pool. Three projects were completed and so were eliminated from, removed from the CIP, the parking meter replacement project, the Oak Hill Middle School addition, and the City Hall storage area network. In terms of projects that are happening during, uh, with work really during FY23, there are many, many uh, dozens of projects. Um, in this slide, I just listed um, projects in five different categories, roads, um, water, sewer, stormwater, parks, public safety, and schools and public buildings. Um, we did hear just quite a bit about the water, sewer, stormwater. Um, just on roads and village centers, I just wanted to mention a few, including our transportation network improvement program, getting to $9.5 million in road um, and traffic calming work across the city, vehicle and equipment replacement work, the ComAv, ComAv carriageway reconstruction project, which uh, you've all been talking about the last few weeks, the Washington Street pilot um, um, project, um, which we have just recently docketed, and the Newton Highlands Village Center improvements uh, planning work that DPW is getting underway very soon. Lots of work to be done uh, on roads and village centers um, across the city. Parks, fields, and paths, um, very busy with uh, um, many projects from Gath Pool, the athletic fields, the Marty Center path, where we're hoping to get state funding for that really great project in Auburndale. 
uh, improvements to Crystal Lake Beach. And as you've heard, the Newton North and South field lights and the Newton South synthetic um, turf fields and then Newton North turf field replacements, the Newton Center um, uh, playground, the outdoor pavilion that we're looking uh, to, to install and Horace Mann and other playground improvement projects um, in different parts of the city. So lots going on there in parks, fields and paths. I'll jump to public safety. Um, we're making further improvements at fire stations one and two to follow up on some of the work we've done in the last two years there. Um, and next is I'll get to a longer slide about what we're doing with Newton Police Department um, at their headquarters projects. Um, fire and police radio system infrastructure project um, that has been discussed and planned for the last several years to really improve um, safety for our water, our fire and, and police um, staff and EMS who go into, into buildings across our city, as well as a new um, fire pumper truck number seven to keep in line, keep all of our uh, frontline equipment within the 15 year time frame. So that is what's going on in public safety from a capital standpoint. Schools and public buildings, I'll get to um, in, a, in a slide coming up. Um, I did wanna also add that we have some projects going on in city buildings, including the Jackson Homestead basement, archival area uh, work, um, Pellegrini uh, field house exterior improvements, and uh, new voting equipment, um, working with the clerk to look at um, what equipment um, is needed for upcoming elections and what is the right equipment to make that happen. And then New Cal design, of course, we're continuing to move along with New Cal and then site plan approval and getting to construction, hopefully soon. Um, I wanted to focus, um, um, sorry for too many words on this slide, I've broken the rules here of PowerPoint, but I want to quickly go through our consolidated project, which is the comprehensive police headquarters uh, facility renovation and upgrade project. Essentially what this is, is taking six projects that have been in the CIP over the last few years and consolidating them into one project because we are now take a real, taking a comprehensive look at all of our needs. Um, we've, we're using some ARPA money to bring in um, Kestrel Booz Associates, an expert um, in public safety uh, facility work, uh, to work in close collaboration with our police team, um, a range of representatives from various parts of the department to really look at um, the needs and the feasibility of getting work done in those three buildings. And um, this is to follow up on $1.4 million in HVAC and communications project equipment um, within police headquarters that we have now um, gotten started on. Really what we need to do at police headquarters is we need significant um, improvements in their facilities to meet to allow, allow the department to meet its goal of 21st century policing, proper training and, and outreach to the public, creating positive police interactions with the public and effective interactions between our bureaus and for officer well-being. Um, we will be making investments in technology and building systems, the building envelope, security systems, and reconfiguring spaces and finishes to ensure a real professional working environment. Very excited about this. Um, as I think Commissioner Morse mentioned in a meeting last week, we started literally two weeks ago. Um, there will be um, quite a bit of updates given to the council and made public through a variety of means as, as Commissioner Morse always does um, as we move forward on this program. Um, and I think this is my last slide. I just wanted to remind folks that Newton Public Schools remains a significant focus of our capital program. As I mentioned, NECP is set for completion at the end of this calendar year. The Lincoln Elliott Elementary School Project 150 Jackson Road is entering the site plan approval process. Um, great public school building committee work over the last year um, with public input has really led to a great design, which we're very excited about. 
and moving that project forward with a goal of an opening in September of 2025. Countryside Elementary School is in the MSBA process just today. Um, uh, they, I think MSBA has come forward with a recommendation of an OPM for that project. So this project keeps, keeps moving along. Franklin Elementary School, School Building Committee has been meeting and a design team for this project will be named very shortly and we will let the council know about that. Horace Mann Elementary School, the feasibility study is going extremely well, has really shortlisted um, some options for the addition to the building and for interior work. Uh, this, is, um, this project is moving, moving rapidly um, and heading towards a very exciting, we think, project in the end. Ward and, El and Underwood Elementary Schools, we continue to work with those two schools and, and the Newton Public Schools to identify sh some short-term projects um, because those two schools will be further out past these schools um, as we move into capital work. Um, as I mentioned, some boiler work at Newton South and at Franklin, some roof repair projects that are really important. And I mentioned the field lights and the synthetic uh, turf replacements. So that's just a summary of what we're doing on schools.